Hey, you want to hear my impression of a morning dove? Welcome back to Cosmos. Cosmic. A costly microphone adventure. Mr. Ripogley. Mr. Hornback. Good to see you again at the offices of Ripogley and Hornback. Yeah. It is weird how law offices are just referred to by the surnames that established it. Because, well, it's good to distinguish it that way. Actually, no. This is good because we don't want, like, really funny, like, company names for lawyer practices. So maybe this is for the best. You want to? You wouldn't want to be that law office. Welcome to Totally Awesome Law Center. You know, no, I don't want that. The arrows are pointing the direction that they're going to go in. What? I've never heard of such obstacles in my entire livelihood. The hood, of which I am quite lively, I'll have you know. All right. So unlike using that to climb. This time I'm going to use this question wall to uh, block something off. Mainly a red foot guy that's down here. The only reason I'm even going over here is that there's an invincibility thing. So I want the invincibility thing. Not like it's going to last me long. I just thought, you know, it, sh it might be a little okay. It might be a little bad. I don't know. Boop, 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 boop! Wall! Oh, the wall was that wall. Okay. That was... Alright. Anyone want to guess what kind of computer we're inside? Uh, one, one of the uh, hint globules will actually tell me. Or something like that. Who's to say? Here inside a prototype of the Logbox 720. No, really. How many games have a level that's specifically designed to be in a computer? I like that. Actually, Lemmings 3D has a level in which you just go into the computer, so, uh, never mind. Oh, bump my head against the switch. There's gonna be a lot of go find the switch in this one. I'm cool with that. I need some, like... I mean, these games are always linear, but... You've noticed how DOS platformers are a lot more labyrinthian than console platformers. I kinda like it, I'm not gonna lie. But that also means I usually need the maps for them. <laughs> like, it's not the worst thing in the world, it's just... Don't get lost. Alright. There's two health power-ups in there, which means you're just gonna sacrifice one in order to get two. So... It's pretty much not gonna mean a whole lot to me. I mean... Unless I think I can get away with it. There's too much crap on the ground! Uh-uh. Not today. I practiced a few times. And I kept getting caught by it because I didn't notice it because I was dodging all this shit. So, nicely timed bear trap for sure. Do, 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 do. I have heard of having a chip in my shoulder, but this guy has 10,000 of chips inside his motherboard. He's really pissed. Pissed drunk on the computer. All right, come on over to the Cosmo side. On this side, we have... Oh, it's... Okay. Those platforms where you jump on them disappear. By the way, there's one other platform in Cosmo 3 that I didn't understand until it was already too late because I was already beating the game. This hint globe being upgraded to an 8986. Ah, computer jokes. But no, that, that thing in, like, the start of Cosmo 2 or the end of Cosmo 1... They actually use those platforms at, like, the very last point of, co of this one, Cosmo 3, and I didn't realize it, and it was already over, and that was, like, the last level, so I'm just like, let's just get on with it. Not like it would account for much, I would just end up getting stars and, and vulnerability at a earlier point when it wouldn't be necessary by then. Who knows what all the things you can go travel in the pipes that take you places and collect all the items that happen to be inside the pipe. This pipe is your friend. It does not know about your bell end. We grab this health item. We see these boxes. The boxes that you can lower down for no particular reason because I think the boxes in this game have all had fucking slugs inside them. Why do I even bother with them? Hell, sometimes they just open up on their own. Like they're... Those things... That Lemmings clone that I'm forgetting now. Like the... The creepy crawly thingies. I forgot what they were called now. 
Oh, creepers. Right, okay. Creepers. Listen, I, I like singing the praises of creepers, but it's also still a puzzle game, so... Sorry. Come with my hands, climb up this wall. Tell them what you had in your pants. You had these green fruits. I had these red fruits pre-planned in my position. I'm gonna need you to take this teleporter. Why? Because that guy is over there. He just trapped behind that wall. And there's a switch up here. Then I can go back in and go, go and proceed. Yeah, I don't know. This level's got a huge empty space inside it. Plus one for having an empty space. That's all your computer is, is a black hole inside a network of information. You tried being a sysadmin? I thought about it, decided no. This is Cosmo. This is him. That's what he wants. He's the best person to be green. He's a green alien sort of thing, and he wants to go to Earth, to Disney World. Yeah. Look, Cosmo, I don't know if you're in the know, but you might not want to go to Florida at this very moment. Well, maybe it was okay in the 90s, but... Uh... Don't try it now. Now entering level 4. Okay... Crystallization. Oh, this is the myth we used at the end of Cosmo 2, alright. So, now it's like... The lead-up. The Act 3. That stuff. I fail to describe what this level is. It's like I've seen elements of it in other levels that are just being used in a mish mashed up sort of way. So I have no connection to what we're trying to represent anymore, other than, oh, that looks cool. I wonder about these things. About that big pear fruit. We still got more of these green wormy things that turn to fruits when you touch them. Then they can actually be kind of obstacle-y, because they can cause you to jump. And if you're hugging in the wall, um, they can actually mess with that too. So, I mean, watch yourself. Don't look an alien horse in the mouth. I'm not sure what it would look like, so be on your guard. Okay, it turns out if I just blow up one box, actually, it causes an explosion, which explosions the nearby boxes, so you just need to aim it at one box. Boop! 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 Now turning off. Yes. This little Cosmo of mine. I don't want to let it shine anymore. I could blow up these bear traps, but, uh, I don't need to. I can just say that they're not there and call the Sunday. That's the day I'm recording this. What? Uh, like I was having a lot of things to do. I can't wait to tell you what I'm gonna come up with next, but I can't tell you that. It's a secret. Actually, no. It's not really a secret. It's more like I don't want to tell you before I've confirmed it. Uh, so much can go wrong now. Seriously, do not underestimate making a game work properly. Age. Convenience. No. Nah. A good gamer is gonna have to have the tools to have tech support, but it's it's a lot like it's a lot like if I was operating a car, but also it's engineer. I am that way with games. I know how to control them and I know how to make them run. It's a double whammy, and it helps me get it helps me show you stuff you might not otherwise see, <laughs> which is the benefit of being such a kind of person. Not even if I wasn't even that terribly smart, is it good? So. You know, learn the ways inside the computer and hope the snails, uh... I might have to step on one of them because they're getting in my way. Oh, dear. That could have been bad. Invisible man had an invisible plan that I couldn't see. Semi-visible man. Translucent man! That's right. You must respect the translucence. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, but you know it is at the end of the world. It's... what the hell? These guys... Go back to the cave. I guess this is kind of a cave, but get the hell out of here, man! You're not welcome here! I don't like you! I can't believe we used these again! 
Also, where the fuck have the thwomps and the thwimps been? That... That is too bad. I really wanted more thwomps in this game. God damn it. I'm actually upset about that now. Oh, at least we have these two tongue things that are back and also obnoxious. So, good on you. These red foots are getting slowed down by the fact that the ceiling is low. So, I'm just hoofing it. Hoof it! Why does that look like a radish with, like, a headset? Like it's a DJ or something. Now, I learned something. I learned something today. If you turn the light on, the robots can actually fire. I didn't know that. You'd think I would know that, having played Commander King 2. But, nope. You can jump on these if you do it right. And they'll act as, like, a spring. But, if you don't, then you just get hurt. I don't know. I'm, I'm so annoyed by this fact. That I had multiple ways of dealing with the situation that I had to retry three times. And then the hint globe just says right at the end level, You should have done this! Oh, thanks! I figured it out, jerk! And then I blow it up. Something... I, I probably did know that when I played this last, but that information had been lost at time, and also... And also, it, that... I didn't think it was any... I didn't think I had to remember! This only comes up once! And in episode three of all things! Cannot say what you want. Make sure you go up here so you can turn off the lasers. This is the one you actually have to push. Not that other one in the bottom right. The other, I guess the other one's a decoy. That's the other thing. I didn't know there was a switch that I didn't want to push. That's also a first. It's not like you can unpush it either. That kind of sucks. Do -do. These blocks look like they belong in a completely different game. Alright, there's gonna be an array of invisible men, and uh, I'm not sure how my jumping's gonna do, so I'm gonna blow them up instead. Now that I'm familiar with how fast they walk. Behold! My bombing prowess! Yeah, hang on. There we go. Nice timing, my friend. He's a goner! Wait, what was I just walking? Oh, I was walking on the end of the laser. Interesting. I didn't know I could do that. That that that's not a that's not a thing that comes up in level design. So um, best just disregard. Now I'm gonna blow your ass up. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. You are the link who was forced to play Tears of the Kingdom for years until you 100%ed it. Seriously, what was it with Breath of the Wild and not being able to 100% all the Koroks? Why would you do this? It's like, no, don't play... I think there was a crack about Nintendo being like, Oh, what are you doing with the completionist? Just play the game. It's just like... What? <laughs> anyway, very rude. Causing property damage. Just out of spite. Who are those hint globes for, anyway, if not me? It can't have been me. Who can say how we do these things? If for some reason you're seeing black bars at any time I'm playing a game, they're there naturally. Okay? Like in Mario 64, they were just there. It's not gonna be the last time I talk about this, but, you know, since we used to play things on big CRT monitors, we weren't thinking about the edges being black until it was important to recreate that on LED screens. Plus, you can see when I went to the bonus stage, it actually did use the full screen, so that's how I know I'm right! Um, I wonder what kind of soda that is. Based on its markings, I want to say it's some kind of Japanese soda. They have a lot of interesting sodas in their vending machines that I've heard about, like a milk soda. Like, why? Why? Why on God's green earth would you... I don't know. I actually try... Like, I've made some weird stuff in terms of food, but I can't imagine carbonated milk tasting that a special. Like, cause I've tried chocolate soda before, and that didn't really seem to make sense to me either. You just think about it while you're like, why would I have chocolate soda? I don't know, okay? I'm just here entering level 5, except that's next video. So next time... Yeah, much of this episode is a lot of technological abuse. Don't worry about me saving just because I took damage. I 
it, it saves knowing that I came here with full health. You don't need to worry about that. So, in case you thought I just put myself into a possible softlock position, no, that was not in fact the case. <laughs> 